Hey, what's up guys? It's your man Foryam again back with a new video for War Tales. A couple days ago, a major update dropped for the game, the second major update basically, which adds the great city of Gozenberg, a new capital to explore, but this one also comes with many new weapons and armor which you can get your hands on, bosses to defeat, hot fixes, many improvements to the game. You can tell that they put a lot of effort in this one. So in this video, I'll get you up to date about all the additions, changes, improvements they made to War Tales. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so here we are on the official store page on Steam. There hasn't been a better time to get started with War Tales, by the way, as the game is currently on sales, ladies and gentlemen. 20% off, right now it's 27.99 euros in my country, but um, let's get to the post right here. Major update numero dos. So we've got a pretty nice release trailer right here, which I'm gonna show some bits of during the talking, let's say, but you should definitely check it out as this one contains a lot of information of what you can expect about it. But uh, the great city of Gozenberg, located in the verdant province of Grimmir, is a beacon of hope, culture, and art. It is said that any man, woman, or child sets their eyes upon the capital are left overwhelmed by its splendor. Basically, this one is gonna have a pretty crowded city. The capital city, Gozenberg, it's the first of its kind in War Tales, as we haven't seen any cities popping up yet, but this is already a nice preview of what it looks like. But um, we get a brand new storyline, so we lead an investigation and unmask trader Willa. I already started this mission, uh, looks pretty interesting. We also have to question town folk, accuse whoever you deem suspicious. So there is gonna be a lot of interaction with the the NPCs, you're gonna have great fun on this one, I assure you that. Then we also get a new type of combat, the Roust. Try your hand at the most violent and enthralling sports in War Tales. If we scroll down a little bit right here, you see that you don't need a lot of clothes for this one, but it involves a ball as well. And um, you will throw yourself into the fray and the mud uh, with six of your best companions. I personally think a squad size of six works very well in um, War Tales. I currently have one of six, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, take part in this one. But you could also take on the local team for a chance to win prizes. So um, that is something pretty similar, like the Smuts Arena, which we have in a province south of this region. And then also features a brand new combat system based on the current one, as well as new features, skills, and also equipment. So that is a lot of stuff to look forward to. Very interesting in checking this all out in game but uh, we also get two new arenas with their respective champions as well as a new champion to fight against i already tackled him today 0.1% currently has this achievement, but uh, I'm probably going to make a guide for this one as well. Anyways, we also get to explore a new region and its point of interest, including but not limited to the Broker's Palace, the Embassy, the Brothel, the brothel, ladies and gentlemen, and a few manor houses. Also explore a new tomb of the ancients, including a new kind of puzzle. I checked it out and I was pretty confused, but um, it looks cool, guys. It was pretty dangerous, though. And then also a new location in the Arthes County. I sincerely hope this is going to be some kind of temple as well. Anyways, um, some screenshots. This is a, a screenshot of the great capital of Gozenberg. By the looks of the trailer, you can tell that this is going to be a pretty crowded place filled with murder, deceit, and yeah, just a lot of trouble on the streets. I really love this. But on to the rest, we also have companions and camp life. I saw many improvements when I booted up the game today. Like, um, some things are a little bit more difficult to craft. Basically, could balance a little bit. For example, it was very easy to make uh, the dry meat jerkies. Instead of 10, you now make four. Um, there is a lot of things. A lot of things have changed as well as if you throw stuff on a campfire when you're resting and then decide like, oh, I'm going to assign one of my companions to a job. Then all the food will still stay at the campfire. You don't have to throw in every single snack once again. So I think those improvements are already very interesting. Small ones that make the game so much better. But um, they also, this is a big one, guys. They also increased the level cap of units to 11 and the enemy cap to 12. So I think this was 8 and 9. So that's a major change. Right now you'll be able to unlock some new skills for your companions. 
and also unlock level 10 skills, allowing for new possibilities during combat. And this is very interesting, including changing weapons. Same weapon type only, of course, but this can be done during combat. So say you have two different maces, one to break armor and one to just hit like a truck. During combat, you can make decisions to just swap out a gear. I think this is going to help out big time, especially if you're dealing with a boss. If you want to apply weakening, let's say, there's going to be so many more possibilities. Professional level cap has also been increased to four with some new bonuses, basically some extra dexterity, constitution, um, critical hit, let's say. Uh, the two arenas also unlock two different class specializations. So we're still going to have to check this one out as I have no clue what they're like, but this sounds very promising as well. Reworked companion forge page. You can now unlock craftable weapons and armor of groups of three at the cost of one knowledge point. This probably means that if you, for example, have a swordsman, a two-handed mace wielder, as well as a spearman in your crew, if you use one of those knowledge points, you'll be able to unlock three of those. You don't have to spend more and more points. They also added Forge Tier 3 as well as a new resource, the Rhyme Steel. So this one can be used to make even more powerful gear. And six new traits have been added. And oh boy, don't get me started about the traits because some of them, for example, the Volunteer, which basically halved the wages uh, for your companions, get changed dramatically, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But um, then we have a new camp animation for the watch tool, the lectern, and also the chest. But uh, let's move on to the items. So they also added a lot of left-handed weapons, a whopping 14 of them, including the recoil bomblet and pungent powder, 8 belt backpack items, 12 cooking recipes. Uh, you can now catch pike and perch when you're fishing so that's really nice two oils weekly bounty gears now upgradable and also reworked the battle pony armor i decided to go rogue today on some merchants and i have to be honest the horse armor looks on point very nice uh, then we also have the more fish just talked about that and much more for you to discover. So probably some more secrets, etc. But then also the balancing, guys. This is very important as right here we get some dramatic changes. My crew, for example, has some pretty big weaknesses because of this. I hoped for a free reroll, let's say, but that's not going to happen. We're just going to have to start a new save. But uh, Bandit Lair is balancing. Now each skull corresponds to a wave of enemy reinforcements. The fire damage over time is also a little bit more difficult to get rid of. So I think that's good because it was just so easy to just move and the fire debuff disappeared. Enemy ponies will now wear armor in battle, which I just show you. Uh, readjusted the complements necessary for certain crafts. So that's good. And also the volunteer... Yes, changed from 50%. So instead of this cuts the wages in half, right now only 10%. Very sad about this, but uh, pretending trade change from 10 to 20, stupid from 10 to 5, so that's also very good. Worker from 5 to 20, so now instead of 5% extra experience from your professions, you will get 20% more experience. So now this one is definitely worth getting your hands on. Increasing the job levels will take longer though, so this will be pretty balanced I guess. Also increasing the levels of companions a little bit faster. Iron and wood looted in points of interest that have been adjusted. So I think sometimes when you go to a lumberjack there is like five of them I think. Maybe it's gonna be less so you have to assign a lumberjack let's say to get your hands on wood a little bit faster. I personally had like 50 or 100 wood at a certain point didn't feel balanced. And then also the meat dryer balancing, which I just talked about. Two carcasses will give four dried meat, two fish, ten dried fish, two meat, ten dried meat, and two ratses, four dried meat. So no longer ten. I think it used to be ten, which was pretty overpowered. And also some bug fixes right here. If you want to check out everything, I will add a link in the description. But uh, let's just very quickly check these out. Legendary Presence quest has been fixed. Tomb Raiders has been fixed. The Ogres has been fixed. It's a weekly bounty weapon. I haven't checked this one out yet. Skills affected by range bonus fixed. Ravagers in-game achievement fixed. So just a lot of fix, fix, fix. That's good. They also claim to have drastically improved the performance when you're on the world map. But let's be honest right here. I personally didn't feel any improvements. On the contrary, I actually got a lot of lag spikes when I was visiting the new tomb and also when I was entering or using things like Piltons. So um, I think they have to work a little bit more on all this, but uh, there are some known issues as well. Some translations are missing, for 
from the Roused, Pony Armor, and a few skills from the Arena of Burna. They also added something very small, which I don't really read right here. Basically, if you open up the map or if you uh, go to camp, let's say, it will fade to black and the transition just feels a lot smoother. Right here, you can see what it looks like right now. I am a huge fan, let's be honest. But um, that is basically it. Many people seem to like this. 1370 already. And many people are discussing this. Someone is asking for a final release date right here. I think they're not there yet. But next month, they're actually adding a multiplayer update, which allows you to play with up to three other crews. I think that one is going to be very awesome. Many people say uh, incredible work, more content, awesome sauce. Where is the city of Gozenberg? I'm not going to say too much, but I think you should just check out the names of the border crossings. They already tell a lot, ladies and gentlemen. But that is pretty much it. The great city of Gozenberg, the first capital in the game, as well as all the content that comes with it. The new weapons, uh, the switching during combat, the improvements, the fixes. I think they did a great job on this one. Let me know in the comments what you think about this update. Are you also looking forward to the multiplayer update? I personally think it's going to be an awesome addition to the game. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you want to support the channel, make sure to hit that like button. Helps out a lot. Right now, though, it's 4am out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.